Hey, you're listening to Visions of Rock, and we're here with Jason Raz. Jason, thank you so much for talking to us. Hey, no problem. So I hear you have a photography book coming out. Tell me about that. I do. It's actually a humble, simple little book of instant pictures, just quick Polaroid instant film snapshots that I've just been carrying around with me in a shoebox for the last six years. And I decided since that format is going away that I'd, I'd put together like a little scrapbook. The book doesn't include words or information on where the pictures were taken. I just love photographs because they tell their own stories. If the book isn't going to have any words, what kind of story are these pictures going to tell? Each reader will find their own story. But in this collection, the through line seems to be someone who's been on a long walk. Because the pictures really reflect just stopping along any path, whether it's a city sidewalk or a beach trail. And suddenly you turn and you look up and, oh, that's interesting. My favorite pictures in the book were taken on a beach in India. And the beaches are overrun with animals. And I come across a cow who's sunbathing. The cow is just something you don't normally expect to find at the seaside. So I'm glad I always have a camera with me. Do you think that the subject that you're shooting is more important, as important, less important than the camera that you're using to take the picture? I used to think so until I started carrying around the camera that I have now. It turns the littlest things or things that we take for granted into something a little more complex or something quite magical. I've been looking through the viewfinder of this Nikon D60 and it's like the camera wants to show you something. This is my first experience shooting with any kind of camera of this magnitude. This camera is a much smarter eye and can look a lot further and closer than I could ever have imagined. And it's been fascinating. What is it about the Nikon D60 that you enjoy? I've always viewed my life as like a movie that I'm watching that nobody else gets to see. And now that I've got this beautiful Nikon viewfinder as a tool, I can share my movie with people. This thing gives me such an accurate image of the same thing I see with my very eyes on, on my walk. How do you like shooting on the Nikon D60 as compared to the other cameras you've used in the past? It's accurate. You know, I can't say that enough. The few times I've shot with a digital camera, there's something about it that's two-dimensional. And when I shoot with the Nikon, it almost looks 3D. There's something so true about the image. Have you been able to pick up some interesting photography tricks or tips that you want to share? The camera is a smart machine, and it has a million settings depending on whichever setting you want to use. Because believe me, the first week I relied on the settings, and I was getting amazing shots. And the great thing is when you're on those settings, you can see the reading on the back that tells you what the camera is choosing to use as shutter and aperture and the right lighting and all that. And so now that I'm in manual mode, I can just recall those settings that the camera automatically found and I can fine tune it to my personal preferences, which is fun. Do you find that your personality is coming through in your photography? I think it's starting to. I love being creative and this thing is allowing me to be super creative, even more creative than I ever thought I could be with a camera. So yes, I'd like to think my, my, my personality is coming through. Is there a creative link that you're finding between your music and the photography that you're working on right now? Sure, there is one. I write songs based on relationships. And within every relationship, there is a story. And while touring, I have like 10, 12 select guys that are my community. So in every city, these 10 or 12 guys, these tired guys, these excited guys, these happy world travelers, become the subject of my pictures. And so the relationships truly come out in the images as well. And I think that's why we've always loved photographs. There's certain things that images can tell that music can't, and there's certain things that songs can tell that words can't, and there's certain things that words can say that images can't. Art is a beautiful thing that way, you know, and that's why there's so many different varieties of it. And they all inspire each other. A picture's worth a thousand words. A thousand words becomes a song. A song paints an image in your mind. So tell us about the charity that you're shooting for. I'm shooting for the Surf Rider Foundation. They do an amazing job of protecting our coast, our beaches, our oceans. And, you know, a lot of people, especially in the middle of America, may think they don't have an impact on the ocean. But you don't have to live near the ocean to have an impact on it. And you don't have to live near the ocean for it to have an impact on you. Just north of where I live is a California State Park that is inches from being turned into a toll road. The beach would be eroded and polluted eventually. And the Surfrider Foundation is working around the clock to protect it 
because if a toll road goes through a state park, then it opens up the door for other states all around the country to allow building in our state parks. That's why I get amped up, and that's why I love the Surfrider Foundation. Well, I'm glad that this is going to help support something that you're so passionate about. Thank you. Jason, thanks so much for talking to us. My pleasure. Thank you again. This is Visions of Rock.